This is the statement on the outlook for the March, April, May uh, 2021 uh, rainfall season. Enhanced rainfall is expected over the highlands west of the Rift Valley, the Lake Victoria Basin, parts of the highlands east of the Rift Valley, including Nairobi County, the northwest, southern Rift Valley, and central Rift Valley. Near average rainfall is expected over the southeastern lowlands, parts of the northeast, and the coastal strip. Several places over the northeastern are likely to experience below average rainfall. Now, the outlook for the March, April, May. The forecast for the March, April, May 2021 long rain season is based on the prevailing and expected evolution of sea surface temperature anomalies over the Pacific, Indian, and Atlantic Oceans, as well as the synoptic, mesoscale, and local factors that affect the climate of Kenya. These factors were assessed using various tools, including ocean atmosphere models, statistical models, satellite-derived information, and expert interpretation. In particular, the Indian Ocean Dipole a key synoptic factor influencing global drivers such as the Madden Julian oscillation, a major fluctuation in tropical weather on weekly to monthly timescales were also considered. The forecast for March, April, May is as shown in figure one on the screen, and it indicates that the Lake Victoria Basin, parts of highlands east of the Rift Valley, including Nairobi County, the highlands west of the Rift Valley, parts of the northwest, the southern Rift Valley and central Rift Valley are likely to experience enhanced rainfall. However, near average rainfall is expected over the southeastern lowlands, parts of northeastern and the coastal region. The extreme northeastern region is likely to experience below average rainfall. The temporal rainfall distribution is expected to be poor, especially over the eastern and coastal regions. The peak of the rains is expected to be in the month of April for most regions, except over the coastal strip, where the peak is expected during the month of May. Now we look at the specific uh, outlook for the March, April, May uh, long rains uh, season. And uh, we go into the counties, into the, into the regions. The Lake Victoria Basin, highlands west of the Rift Valley, and the central and south Rift Valley, that is the counties of Siaya, Kisumu, Homa Bay, Migori, Kisi, Nyamira, Transzoia, Baringo, Wasingishu, Elgeo Maraquet, Nandi, West Pokot, Laikipia, Nakuru, Narok, Kericho, Bomet, Kakamega, Vihiga, Bungoma, and Busia, the expected rainfall is likely to be higher than the long-term average amounts. That is, the rains will be above normal for the season. The northwestern counties uh, of Turkana and the western part of Samburu the expected rainfall is likely to be higher than the long-term average amounts for the season. Now, we move to the highlands east of the Rift Valley, including Nairobi County. That is uh, the counties of Nyandarua, Nyeri, Kirinyaga, Muranga, Kiambu, Embu, uh, the eastern parts of Meru and Tarakanidhi, and of course Nairobi County. The expected rainfall is likely to be near to above the long-term average amounts for the season. The western parts of Meru and Tarakanidhi, however, are expected to experience near average rainfall. The northeastern uh, parts of uh, the country, that is the counties of Wajia, Garissa, Mandera, Masabit, and Isiolo, and uh, the western parts of Masabit, and the Siolo counties are likely to experience near average rainfall. The eastern parts of Masabit and Isiolo, uh, Garissa and Mandera, the rainfall amount is likely to be below the long term average for the season. The southeastern lowlands, 
that is Kajiado, Kitui, Southern Makueni, Machakos, and Taita Taveta. The expected rainfall is likely to be near to below the long-term average amounts for the season. Uh, while Kajiado and the northern parts of Makueni, southwestern parts of Taita Taveta County, uh, bordering Mount uh, Kilimanjaro, are however likely to receive above average rainfall. In the coastal region, Mombasa, parts of Tana River, Kilifi, Lamu, and Kwale counties are expected to receive rainfall that is likely to be near to below the long-term average amounts for the season. Now, the distribution of the rains, the predicted onsets, cessations, and distribution of rainfall were derived from the statistical, they were derived from statistical analysis of past years, which showed similar characteristics to the current year, and are as indicated uh, below. I will read them out for you. Looking at the uh, counties in the Lake Victoria Basin, highlands west of the Rift Valley, that is um, the counties of Siaya, Kisumu, uh, Homa Bay, Migori, Kisi, Nyamira, Transnzoia, Baringo, Wasingishu, Elgeo Marakwet, West Pokot, Nandi, Laikipia, Kakamega, Vihiga, Bungoma, and Busia. The onset is expected in the second to third week of March 2021. And the cessation is such that the rains will continue into June 2021. The southern parts of the Rift Valley, that is parts of Narok, Bomet, Kericho, rainfall is expected in the second to third week of March 2021 and the cessation is expected in the third to fourth week of May 2021. For the highlands east of the Rift Valley, including Nairobi County, that is Nyeri, Kirinyaga, Moranga, Embu, Meru, Kiambu, Nyandarwa, rainfall is expected in the third to fourth week of March 2020, and the cessation is expected in the third to fourth week of May 2021. Central Rift Valley, that is Nakuru, uh, Laikipia. Rainfall is expected in the third to fourth week of March 2021. And the rainfall will continue into June 2021. The coastal region, uh, that is the counties of Lamu, Mombasa, Kwale, and parts of Tana River and Kilifi. Rainfall is expected in the fourth week of March to the first week of April 2021 and it will continue into June 2021. The northwest, that is counties of Turkana, and the northwestern part of Samburu, rainfall is expected in the fourth week of March to the first week of April. Uh, the cessation is expected in the third, to be third to fourth week of May 2021. The northeastern uh, parts of uh, Kenya, that is the counties of Wajia, Isiolo, Garissa, Mandera, Masabit. Rainfall is expected in the fourth week of March to the first week of April 2021. And the cessation is third to fourth week of May 2021. Now we look briefly at the impacts. At the impacts in a few... Uh, sectors, uh, the potential impacts, agriculture, food security, and livestock sectors. In the agricultural counties of the Lake Victoria Basin, highlands west of the Rift Valley, the south and the central Rift Valley, where enhanced rainfall is expected, the farming communities are advised to take advantage of the expected rains and maximize on crop yield through appropriate farming and land use management procedures. Farmers are advised to liaise with the State Department of Agriculture for advice on the appropriate time to plant, as well as appropriate seeds and the, the actual time to plant. In areas where the rainfall is expected to be depressed, farmers are advised to liaise with the State Department of Agriculture 
to get advice on appropriate crops that are drought resistant in order to maximize on the anticipated poor rainfall performance. The poor rainfall uh, performance that is expected in the arid and semi-arid lands is likely to impact negatively on the availability of foliage, water, and pasture in the pastoral areas of northeastern, northwestern, and southeastern Kenya. This is expected to have an adverse impact on livestock sector, and therefore farmers are advised to identify supplementary feeds or practice destocking. Locust invasion is also likely to thrive in these areas and therefore lead to destruction of plants. To ensure food security, farmers are advised to plant early maturing and drought resistant crops in marginal areas. The Ministry of Interior and Coordination of National Government and Humanitarian Institutions are advised to put in place measures to avert food shortage in these areas. In the disaster management sector, uh, looking at the arid and semi-arid lands where near average rainfall is expected, water scarcity and lack of pasture for domestic use and livestock are likely to be exacerbated due to the dry conditions experienced in the months of January and February 2021 in these areas. Human wildlife and intercommunity conflicts over the limited resources are likely to escalate in these areas. Contingency plans and strategies should therefore be put in place to avert such incidences. In the Lake Victoria Basin and the Highlands West of the Rift Valley, we are still looking at disaster management sector. The Lake Victoria Basin and Highlands West of the Rift Valley, where the above average rainfall is expected, lightning strikes are highly probable, especially in Kisi, Kisumu, Nandi, Bungoma, Mount Elgon areas and Kakamega counties. Cases of flooding in flood prone areas such as Budalangi are likely. Landslides and mudslides are likely on the hilly areas of western Kenya as well as parts of the highlands east of the Rift Valley. The Rift Valley lakes which are already filled up are expected to maintain high levels and this may lead to displacement of people, further displacement and loss of lives, livelihoods and destruction of property. The Ministry of Interior and Coordination of National Government, county governments and humanitarian institutions are therefore advised to put in place measures to avert possible negative impacts that may arise, including loss of lives, livelihoods and property. County governments are also advised to clear drainages in good time to avert artificial flooding of the city estates. The health sector. Vector-borne diseases such as malaria are likely to emerge over the Lake Victoria Basin and the coastal areas, especially in areas with poor drainage, as these may harbor pools of stagnant water, which become conducive breeding areas for disease-causing pathogens such as mosquitoes. In areas expected to receive enhanced rainfall, waterborne diseases such as cholera and typhoid may emerge as a result of flooding and subsequent contamination of water. Scarcity of water in areas expected to receive below normal rainfall, that is parts of northeastern, may lead to water-related diseases such as typhoid, scabies, and trachoma. Respiratory allergies such as bronchial asthma may also emerge over the northeast due to dust. Our health authorities should therefore equip hospitals with necessary drugs to be able to deal with such situations as they arise. Distribution of insect treated nets should also be carried out to prevent malaria. Public health education on disease prevention as well as water and sanitation for health should be carried out. Ladies and gentlemen, this outlook should be used together with the, 20, with the other forecasts that are issued by this department. Uh, such as the 24-hour forecast, the five-day five forecast, seven-day forecast, the monthly forecasts, regular updates and advisories that are issued by this department. Weekly county forecasts are available from the county meteorological offices. Um, ladies and gentlemen, early warning is useless without 
early action and early response. So we call upon all those concerned to take note of this forecast and put in place mechanisms for early action and early response. Thank you very much for listening.